Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do circle text in Photoshop. So I love using circle text for labels. It looks really good on things like thank you tags, to and from labels, for Christmas gifts, monogram labels, love a good monogram. I also use them to create uh, product branding stickers for my sister's shop. So I had the business name and the URL going um, around the edge of the circle. So it's really good that can, um, technique that can be used for lots of different things. And it's really easy to do. So let's go to File New. I'm just going to pick any old size just to show you guys how to uh, do it. But obviously pick the size that you need and hit OK. To make it easy to see what we're doing, I'm going to add a fill color to the background. So if we go to the paint bucket and blue will do, just left click. Okay, so let's create our circle for our circle text. So create a new layer, come over to the shape tool, right click and choose the ellipse tool. So ellipse just means circle. Now you want to change it from shape, which is what it will normally show, to path. And then we can left click and choose the size that we want. So let's say we wanted a three inch one and hit OK. The other option that you can do if you wanted an oval is to just left click and drag and then you'll see that the width and the height are different. You could sit here and manually try and find the point where both the width and the height are the same or just hit the shift key. It's way easier um, if you want to not have a specific size circle. If you're like experimenting with different sizes then you'd use this method otherwise just left click and enter in your dimensions. Okay so let's add our text. So I've just zoomed in a bit by pressing control and the plus sign on my keyboard. You can also go to view and zoom in, but it takes longer to do that. All right, let's go to the text tool and we want to change it to, let's go with white. So the color code for white is 255 for each of the RGB codes or six Fs and hit OK. So now we can left click when we see that eye with the like squiggly border, which means you're hovering over your circle and then you can start typing. So let's say I wanted to do some thank you um, stickers. Just keep typing your text and once you've done a couple, then you can just copy and paste it. So if you left click and drag your mouse, you'll highlight all your text or just press control A is my little shortcut where you can select everything real quick. And then I just put a bunch of copies to fill out the circle. Now you'll notice we're left with this awkward gap here. If I zoom about zoom out a bit we can see a bit better so I've got this big gap a couple of ways that you can get around this first one is to create more of a space between your words so if you hit the space bar like three times between your phrase it will push it out more so you can do that the other option that you can do um, is put a little asterisk so if you press shift and then eight on your keyboard it'll make a little asterisk for you you could also do dashes so if you do like one dash you could do two dashes or three if you wanted to. So that's a couple of ways that you can fill out the space. You can also increase or decrease your font size. So let's say that I wanted to get rid of one of these because it's looking a bit busy. There's a lot of text there and you don't need that much for the size of the circle. Press control A and then change your font size. So let's go with say 30 is looking a bit better. What if we go with 50? Probably a bit too big. So you can just experiment with the sizing. All right, so I'm happy with that size. So now I'm going to add my space or my dash between my words. Whoops, did it in the wrong spot. And dash, okay, so now we've lost a smidge. Let's press Control A and shrink it slightly. Let's go one more to get that dash back. Cool, perfect. So it looks pretty good. Now, at the moment, um, it might be a bit hard to visualize because I've got this full colored background. So let's make a circle to put behind it just to give you guys an idea of what it would look like if you did turn this into a label, which is the main thing that I use this technique for. So let's go to shape, change it to a fill color. So let's go with pink. And I'm just going to left click and drag to create a circle. And we want to position this one behind our text layer. So left click and drag it down behind your text. Now with this circle selected, press control and click on the text. Come over to the move function here, press this button and then this one and it will move it into the center for you. So now we've got our label, I'll just turn that off so you can see it a bit clearer. Now what I like to do is add some clip art or graphics in the center. So if you locate that on your computer and then just left click on the image and drag and drop it into Photoshop, you can then align it the same way using these tools and put it in the middle. To resize, you would do the same thing that you do with text or anything else. 
you press Control T on your keyboard and then hold down Shift and drag inwards. If you've got multiple layers selected, it will reduce everything proportionally all at once. So don't waste your time clicking on one, pressing Control T and then reducing that one. And now I've got to go reduce the circle. Like it's just such a waste of time. Just select all of them at once um, and resize them that way. So um, apart from that, you can create a whole bunch of these. So if you make your like one template that you're happy with and let's say that you like this tag but you wanted to put um, different colors if you love color coding like I do this is a good um, way to use it you would just I'll just shrink it down you create a copy by pressing Control J with those two layers selected so when they're shaded in blue they're selected you press Control J will make a copy press Control T on your keyboard with those two copied layers selected Hold down shift, left click and drag it across and now you've got a copy. So if you click on the ellipse, you can then change the color um, and it's good to use these little color picker here and experiment with all the different colors you want to use. If there is a specific color that you want, click this button here and type in the color code or you can play around with this color picker here as well and experiment with what colors you want to use. The other thing that you can do if you didn't want to use clip art is to just add more text on top of your uh, label. Keep in mind that you'll see when we've got this ellipse selected, if we try and type over the top, it's going to pick it up on our circle text. So you want to make sure that you just type it off the edge here and then move it on top of that layer because you don't want to override the text you've already written. So if we left click and let's say we want to thank you again in the middle. So if you're super thankful and you wanted to say it like five times, you could put it in the center. So I've just typed my text, press um, the move tool, left click and then drag it over the top um, of your text. If you didn't like how close your words are together, click on the text tool, click here and it'll automatically select it in the layers menu for you. Press Control A and then go to the characters menu. So if you're not seeing that on your sidebar here, go to window and click on character and it'll show it with a tick and now it will appear and then change your line spacing. So let's say we want it to be more um, space in between, you'd increase it, so that looks pretty good. If you wanted your letters to be further apart, if you were using a font that, um, sometimes the fonts really bunch the letters together and you wanna spread them out a bit more, then you do it that way by increasing your VA. You can change your font size, you can do bold, which I highly recommend doing. If there's an option to make it bold, always do bold, it will make it stand out way better. You can also do italics, sentence case text. If you'd written um, all in lower, if you'd written the first letter in uppercase and the rest in lowercase, this will automatically make it all uppercase, sentence case, etc. But I typed it all in uppercase. That's why they're not working. Cool. So that's how you use the text tool. Apart from that, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, don't forget as your last check to make sure everything is um, like all aligned correctly that you've got your text space so at the moment we'd need to add in that extra dash and tweak our font size to suit the size that we've got for our label and don't forget to center everything so click on all your layers if you can press control to select multiple and remember to hit that button there and we'll put it all in the center for you so that's how you do circle text um, i'll include a list below of a couple of different ways that you could use this to make things if you are interested in learning how to do labels, I do have an e-course for that and I'll include the link below. Um, and I'll also include the link to my blog where you can find heaps more Photoshop tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have tons posted on here as well. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.